Whew. Well, it's been a while, everybody. Now, I will get back to the Let's Plays I was doing, Gears of War 2 and Fear 3. I figure it's just for a little experiment, sort of, ex I don't know what, you, what else you would call it exactly. A while back, I did do a video going over some opinions, like why I'm not too excited about the state of gaming the way it is right now. Because I'm pretty sure everyone who is part of this community, you know, whatever you want to call it, sees this for themselves. There are too many studios, too many developers, too many publishers, too much stuff is coming out on a daily basis. It's really, really hard to figure out what's good, what's bad. And even then, if you think something's going to be good and you see the companies hype it up all the time, most of the time, they're just massive disappointments, you know? So I figured just for the sake of exploring what the state of gaming is, we're gonna, I'm going to log in separately to my Xbox, my PlayStation, and my Switch, and just check out the Coming Soon section. Not to mention the recent releases and see what's going on with the state of gaming right now, shall we? Just, I have been very sick lately, physically and mentally. It's been a long ordeal of stuff going on. I don't want to go keep going into that, of course, but let's just focus on the subject of the video, shall we? So let's go to Games Home. Yeah, I muted the sound, guys, uh, by the way, because the beeping and booping of all the going through the menus would be a little irritating, right? So let's look at... Duh, duh, duh. Let's try and find uh, new games, right? So, yeah, nothing really piques my interest, right? World of Warships, yeah, that's a free game, I into that. Cynthia Hidden in the Moon... What? See, this is what I'm talking about, guys. There's so much stuff coming out on a daily basis. You just cannot keep track of everything. I mean, yeah, it has that sort of uh, art style. I don't know exactly what you call it. Sort of reminiscent of the Telltale Walking Dead series. Yeah, it could be good. I don't know. But it goes back to my point. There's just too much stuff going out. It's not enough regulation, you know? Outbreak, Lydia Daniel. See, what's this? I never even heard of this. Dead Drop Studios LLC. Who are they? I mean, yeah, this looks pretty bad graphics-wise. Looks kind of cartoony, cheesy. Oh, pff, look at that. Jeez. You have relationships to this game, too? Like, what is this? Indica. Play a third-person story-driven game in Russia. Oh, I think I saw this advertised on Game Ranks, right? I mean, yeah, this could be... Oh, wait, there's side-scrolling stuff, too? Sort of reminds me of that those Fran Bo interactions. I never actually played Fran Bo. I've seen, I think I've seen Mark and Sean play for a bit. Never actually played it myself. Okay, uh, Brain Buster. Um, trivia. I don't know what this is. Oh, puzzle solving. Yeah, like, this sort of stuff doesn't really interest me. Oh god, they're making, they made a live little pony game. Why? <laughs> Why? Why? Some sort of platformer minigame thing. Okay, that image reminds me of the fractured but whole with the unicorn farts thing. I don't know why I just thought of that. Oh, I had so much fun with that game. It's a shame when it ended. Four dollars is like a side scrolling platformer thing? Yeah, like, yeah. Not too impressive. Spell cats. I'm pretty sure you're passionate about gaming just like I am. Like, look at all this stuff coming out that has no. It's just not the same what gaming used to be. I Not to sound like a boomer or anything. I know I'm very old, probably older than a lot of my audience, but geez. Back in the day, you go to the physical store, Toys R Us, get the little paper, pay for it at the cash register. Then you go to the counter, you get the game. Oh, geez. See, what the... Pood? Poe? What the fuck is this? <laughs> uh, we're going to have a lot of... Uh, oh, a sort of like a Duke Nukem 3D style sort of thing. Yeah, definitely reminiscent of Duke Nukem 3D. I might have to replay that on the channel at some point. I do want to. Okay. I mean, look at all these things, guys. It's not really... Yeah, but as far as this company goes, um, they do a lot of these things. Like Kairosoft. Like, what is it? Like, they look very, very basic, you know? Same style, doing the same thing, managing a business. They do this a lot, by the way, this company. But it seems so basic, though. It's not like Roller Coaster Tycoon or anything. God, I was... See, here's another one. Same company. The Ramen Sensei. Pretty much management stuff. But that doesn't look like there's a lot of effort put into it. It's only $12. You know what happened when gaming actually had quality? You know, that Nintendo Gold Seal approval stuff, you know? 
Oh, well, they yearn for those days, right? Nothing here looks too interesting. I mean, yeah, they're not the most expensive things, but geez. Widow Kitty Big... What is this? <laughs> Where have we come with gaming? Seriously. Yeah, uh, this doesn't look like it has the same level of care as something like Stray. I might have to play that too. I really want to. I should... This is kind of what's interesting. I saw this being advertised, Crow Country. It's like a indie-style horror thing with the tank controls, Resident Evil style. Yeah, this actually was pretty interesting. From what I understand, yeah, you have a handgun and stuff. People seem to like this. I think Charlie from Penguin Zero played it. It's saying, yeah, it's a lot better than a lot of the crap we're getting lately. It's pretty short. It's like two to three hours or something, but it's only $20. I might have to check that out at some point, too. Bear in mind, guys, I don't like just playing old stuff, too. I don't like just playing stuff I've already played before. I do want to look towards the future, but if this is what the future holds, I mean, it's not very uh, interesting, you know? Uh, what's this? Dare I ask what this is? I am your president. Now we have simulations where the word commander-in-chief. Sure, sure. What else? <laughs> All right, sure. Yeah, pinball. Not the most accelerating, uh, exhilarating thing. Wait, wait, what is this? You're playing as a vampire in a coffee shop? This, oh, come on. Developers, come on. Step up your game, please. Yeah, this is the Kairosaw people again. Pool slide story. Like, it's the same stuff over and over again, just a different business. The Mango Works. Oh, jeez. Full Metal Sergeant. Like, Full Metal Jacket. Uh, R.A.P. Are we Army, by the way? He died a while, while back. None of this stuff really was interesting, you know what I mean? Oh, this Front Mission thing came out. Um, I never played Front Mission, it's always something I want to explore, but like Armored Core, I don't know if I'd really get into it or not. What we'll to see. Wait, nothing here looks too interesting, right? It's not just me who feels this way, it cannot just be me, right? Uh, they made a Hatsune Miku. Oh my god. Uh, there's no screenshots either. Okay. Sure. If you know who Hatsune Miku is, she's one of those uh, Vocaloid things from Japan. Very weird. I mean, but no, like, I'm not here to mock cultural stuff, but I would not pay to a concert, hold the glow stick, and while the, she's playing on screen, it's, whatever, whatever. Nothing here. Like, nothing here really looks like eye catching. Whatever happened to advertising, too, you know? Uh, there's Cairo Soft again. Jesus Christ. People are obsessed. Yeah, like, nothing here is, like, catching my interest. Most of these are, appear to be from indie companies, I've had to assume. Yeah, I heard the Snow Day game was actually pretty awful. Like, 3 out of 5 stars, 240 reviews. Oof, not good. What well, I would give for, like, a third game, you know, after Fractured Butthole. That'd be awesome. Yeah, like, nothing really. I was kind of interested in the Alone in the Dark thing. I never played those games. But yeah, I heard this is pretty meh. You know, pretty short, not very interesting. Which is a shame, because I thought they could revive the franchise finally. You know, after the... You know, the one with the voice actor from Max Payne, who unfortunately died. And then they did that Woman Nation thing. Oh my god, come on. People wonder why the gaming industry is doing so bad. Yeah, Battlefront Classic Collection. I heard this was awful. I heard this was awful. Oh my god, you couldn't even get into a match and the controls were bad. You can't invert the wet up vertical stick. I mean, come on, what are people doing? Seriously. See, what is this? Like, what the fuck is this? Who is playing this? Oh my god. Why? I keep asking myself that every day. Why, why, why? There we go with the games coming soon session. Alright, maybe this is a bit better. Let's see. Yeah, I heard a lot of hype for the Hellblade 2 game. I remember seeing that trailer with a woman. I don't know what she's doing, if she's chanting or something in front of the screen. You know? I never played the first one. I've heard mixed feelings about it. Like, it's more of a double-A game, but a lot of people think it's boring. 
It's more for the story, I get that, but I don't know. Survive on raft. Yeah, sure, sure. Wizardry? Like, what is this? Was that some sort of dungeon crawler? All right. But I never even heard of these games or heard of these people, you know? Yeah, I heard they're making a Killer Clowns game. Like, WTF on that? Who thought of making that awful movie years ago into a game? Oh, God. It's good. Look at this. I mean, come on. Seriously. Is anything, like, worth hyping up anymore? That's coming out soon? That Yeah, I can't wait for this. Yeah, I guess you could say GTA 6, but that's not until fall of next year. <laughs> oh, God. You know, more sports stuff. There's a Demon Slayer. I don't know what that is. Smite, that's that MOBA game, I think. I don't know. Not really into multiplayer stuff. Yes, now, Star Wars Outlaws does look interesting, but it's Ubisoft, you know? So that, like, gives me that Steve Carell sort of cringe gif, you know? That sort of feeling. Ubisoft has been flatlining repeatedly lately. Like, Watch Dogs Legion, I heard, was awful. Um, the Avatar game was just meh. Go around, take over bases, blah, blah, blah. What else came out recently by them? Oh, Skull and Bones. I heard that quadruple A game, and everyone hated it. Oh, my God. So we don't have a lot of hype for this. Like, open world-ish, open worlds, do stuff. Yeah, it looks very interesting, but I'm not hyping this up till the reviews come out, because I've been pissed off by Ubisoft so many times already. Like, what happened to the glory days of Rainbow Six Vegas 1 and 2? Those were awesome. I do still have them downloaded for backwards compatibility, but I see no reason to play them again. I've already played them, and if you know the story already, sort of dispute uh, gets rid of the hype, right? Ugh. So yeah, I think I've covered all I want to on the Xbox platform. I do have to stop the recording, start it up again, and get my PlayStation uh, hooked up, right? So hang on a sec. Hey everybody, I am back. That was quick, wasn't it? A stupid joke. Okay, whatever. So we're here on my PlayStation account, PlayStation 5. Let's see what's going on with the PS Store. It's been so long since I booed these things up. I've been just feeling so bad lately. Okay. Can we get all new games? Yes, we can. Sort by um, release date. Can I do that? Goes to show. I guess, try to micromanage what's available, what to pick and choose. It's nuts. It really is. Totally nuts. It's like a full-time job in of itself, right? Dare you ask what this is, Fancy Beauties? See, what the fuck is this? Like, a puzzle game with these suggestive characters on it? As if we have... Oh my god. Let's just get out of there, shall we? Neptunia Game Maker Rev... I think I've heard about this series. I don't really know anything about it. It's like a JRPG sort of thing. That was decent, I mean, as far as graphics go, I guess. See, this is my point. Bikini, uh, Bikini Beach Anime? What the fuck is this? Oh my god. Oh, so I guess we stepped up from the waifu impact with the water guns, now we have actual guns? What the fuck? Come on! Like, what the hell? You guys are all seeing this, right? The state of gaming it is right now? It's like a joke. Wouldn't surprise me if we get near a crash, like the 83 crash. I wasn't alive at that point, but still. Okay, another one of these, uh... I don't even want to know what's going on here. Jesus. Two dollars for something called Bubble Riders? Oh my god, like, why? Why do they bar put doing this? Seriously. There's that Claw and Feathers thing again. There's the Fox Ray Rush thing again. Hmm. A simple shooter? For a dollar? Uh, yeah, this one says bland as bland can be. Reminds me of this game called Major Striker I played back on DOS. <laughs> yes, I am that old. Hard to believe. But yeah, my first computer was a DOS computer. Ugh. Takes me back how awful DOS was. Pool party. Yeah, like very basic stuff here. Jeez. Is there anything good? Anything? Also, why are there so much like anime, female sexualized anime stuff on PlayStation. Like, you're seeing this, right? You guys are all seeing this. Like, what the fuck is this? Oh my god. Oh my god. I guess PlayStation has less quality control than Microsoft? I don't know. 
Oh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, so Crow Crunchy is here too. Not that it matters which uh, platform I play it on, right? But. Uh. Oh, they actually released a Freddy Fish collection. My younger brother used to play this game. Yeah, it's like a point-and-click educational sort of thing, like the Pajama Sam or Putt-Putt. I remember these. My brother used to play those back in the day. Hmm. Is anything... Yeah, there's the Cairo Swap people again. Jesus. Is anything worth looking forward to? Like, I'm dead serious. I am dead serious. Yeah, I've heard uh, Stillbury was pretty pretty good, by the way. It's more like a hack-and-slash thing. Now, these graphics are pretty good, by the way. But at the same time, I see a bunch of fucking idiots constantly spamming free Stellar Blade. You know, hey, you censored out an outfit. That's bullshit. We're going to boycott you. Who gives a flying fuck about an outfit of this character, Eve? I don't give a flying fuck. Why are all of you spamming Sony saying free Stellar Blade, free Stellar Blade? You believe in censorship? Seriously. Oh my god. Like, how many times have I seen people do that? Who cares? I don't care. Why the fuck do you all care? Jesus. This did sort of look interesting. It's sort of like a Souls-like experience, but in cartoon format. Now, how difficult this may be, you know, people thought Cuphead was more of like a, oh, it's not that difficult. You're making a mountain of a molehill. Yeah, that game was pretty frustrating, but as far as like a Souls-like thing where you play as a crab, we'll have to see. What are the re reviews on this? Not bad. 4.54 out of 5. Yeah, I might have to check that out at some point. I think this is only on PlayStation, not Xbox, by the way. And again, more stuff with cats, too. Like the kitty, big kitty in the city, and now we have this. Where's the quality control? I'm probably going to be saying that a lot for this video. Where is the quality control? Okay, more of those graphic novel types of things? I don't know. I don't know anymore. I don't know anything anymore. Dare I ask what Adventure Bar story is? Oh, okay. More of those simplistic RPG things with cafe management? I don't know. I don't know anything anymore. Now you have a simulation for shopping. Like, who thinks of this dumb shit? Seriously. PlayStation has to host this, you know? Pay for the bandwidth, you know? Pay for people to upload this stuff and sell it? Jesus Christ. Really? They put Night Trap on PS5? Really? Really? I didn't play that game because I didn't own a Sega Genesis back in the day. I saw so many people throwing fits over this game. I've seen footage of it. It was like Saved by the Bell Halloween special. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I've seen like videos of this before. Like It looks so stupid. People are throwing fits that encourages sexualization and violence against women. No, it doesn't. Yeah, I do know it was very um, adamant to getting the ESRB formed with Lethal Enforcers and Mortal Kombat. I did play before Enforcers. I ain't mind that. Didn't become a murderer either. He used to say. Jeez. Yeah, not very impressive things. As far as pre-orders go, let's see what's coming out soon. Is it any better than Microsoft? I don't mean to sound like I'm ranting here, guys. I'm just sort of upset about this whole thing and the situation in gaming in general. It's not me ranting, but I'm pretty sure all of you feel the same way. It can't just be me, right? It cannot just be me. Yeah, I do know the next Destiny is coming out. I have to do that on Xbox, because that's where my account is. I don't know, man. I mean, Destiny's been very slipping a lot. They have a lot of problems between the split between Activision. Now they're owned by Sony, blah, blah, blah. The story is like falling flat, too. You guys saw my last DLC of it, whichever one it was, where you're... I don't even know what it was called. That's how like little of an impact it made on me. I don't know. We'll see. I'm, of course, going to play it. I'm too deep down the Destiny well to not stop playing it, but come on, Bungie. Step up, step up your game. Like, all these other people, step up your fucking game already. Jeez. Like, there's nothing really to look forward to. I'm not seeing it. Yeah, I mean, it's it's just a sad state of gaming we're in. It's the too many cooks metaphor. You guys ever saw that uh, Don't Swim video, Too Many Cooks? I mean, I'm sure you have by now. But it's a perfect metaphor for, like, why too, having too much, too many different opinions on one thing. Everyone tries to make their own adjustments to it, and the whole thing just ends up awful. There's just too much shit going on. There really is. 
I'm still following gaming news, even though I've been sick lately. Yeah, I'm still following a bunch of stuff. I still buy stuff, too, you know? These are some of the other things I got off of my spare time, because I just, they were on sale or whatever. This was only 10 bucks to upgrade from my PS4 version, by the way. I might check this out, because they did add some lost chapters. There's also the, I don't know what you call it, the combat mode thing. It looks interesting, right? I, yeah, I don't know why these things are on my front menu. I bought Ace Combat 7 a while back. Never played an Ace Combat game. I don't even know why I bought this, exactly. I sort of just bought this out of shits and giggles, because I did play the PC version of this way back when, on CD-ROM. I might just revisit this, just, just to laugh at how bad it is. Because you play this game, guys, you would know how bad it is. Trust me, you would know, if you saw the play the game yourself. Oh yeah, I forgot I bought this. This is the same company that did Fran Bo, right? I don't know anything about this game. I know Jack Septic Guy played it a while back. He seemed to be having a lot of fun with it. It's more like a mature thing, like I don't know, adventure game, but I don't know. Yeah, why do I keep buying these things? I do have an obsession with buying things and never playing them. Oh, I really gotta step up my game. I really really do, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I own too much shit. It's like a it's like a obsession of mine. Hey, something's coming out, something's on sale. Let me just buy it. Well the price is good, then I'll get back to it later. And lo and behold, your backlash is insane. Yeah, you oh oh you buy all this shit and you never even play it. Jesus Christ. Most of these things I've never even played. Ugh. I mean, it's not just me, right? You guys have done this too. You buy a whole bunch of digital stuff and then you never actually play it. Even as someone who makes content on gaming, some of these things I bought years ago and never played them. Ugh. So what's that thing? Oh, I'll get to it at some point. Then your library keeps building up, building up, building up. Jesus Christ. A lot of these things I bought years ago, I never even played them once. Jeez. Ugh, I really gotta get more active, you know? Even if I'm not gonna make a series on it, I should at least try some of these things out. Otherwise, I'm just wasting my money, you know? Alright, so that pretty much covers PlayStation, right? Let's break up my Switch. I might actually have to recharge my Switch. I haven't done that in a while, but hang on a sec. Okay, everybody, we're back. Unfortunately, I haven't actually set up my Switch since I moved into this apartment, so I had to charge up the dock and all that stuff, right? Took a while. We're still not even there yet, but all right. And I had to connect it to the air and then, because, you know, new modem, whatever. All right, so we're here on my start screen. You know, I already played Mario RPG. That's done. As far as other things I've have on the Switch? Not that much. I got this Sprout Valley game a while back. Never actually played it. I know. Habit, right? I did get the demo for the one of the Cairo Soft games. I never played this either. I just wanted to see what it was like. You know, is there any value to it or not? Yeah, this I probably will never play because it's more of a simulation thing I did for myself, right? I can't really commentate over these type of simulation things. Even though I really love RCT, I was obsessed with that as a kid, back in the Windows 98 days. Ooh, takes me back, right? Yeah, Siberia 1 and 2 is something I bought a while back as well. Never played it. I don't really know much about it, otherwise. I do want to play Starlink, too. I specifically got the Switch version, because it includes the Star Fox stuff. Wow. What I wouldn't give for another Star Fox game, you know? Like, come on, it's one... Yeah. And I also did Smash Bros. Ultimate one video a while back of the story mode. I never went back to it. It's the, the problem was, I Mind Smash is one of the only fighting game series I ever got into. The problem was, I never made it into a series, because what can I really commentate over regarding the story mode, right? You just go from place to place, you fight the opponents. I'm just afraid I won't be able to make it interesting, you know? Because not like the game already has a story, right? As far as I know, it doesn't. Because the last time I checked, Kirby was the sole survivor of whatever that wipeout was, and that's that. So, I don't know. We'll have to see. I wouldn't mind doing it as a full series, but what could I really say while fighting to make it interesting? That's what I was sort of worried about. That's why I never made it into a series, by the way. Same thing with, uh, we call it, um, The Witness. But I couldn't get into The Witness, the PS4, you know, puzzle, mist style thing. I never turned that into a series either. It just wasn't interesting enough for me, right? So, oh wait, is that what I want? No, no. I want the store, don't I? Yeah, not to switch online, the store. I haven't been to the store in quite a while. It's been so long. Problem is, I feel Nintendo has even less quality control than Sony or Microsoft. I know it's the debatable, of course. So let's see what's going on here. 
try coming soon. Because most of the good stuff on Nintendo Switch, you know, is more of their exclusives. Hmm. Being a little jittery today with the stick. I'm gonna go up once. Can you go up once? Thank you. <laughs> Alrighty. What is going on here? Can I go over? Thanks. Okay. So yeah, this has the previews coming up automatically. Alright. Don't know what this stuff is. Uh, so what the hell is Doug's Nightmare? Is that a banana? <laughs> Dare I ask, right? Dare I ask. Sunland Town. Don't know what that is either. No, it's interesting. I never played the Paper Mario games. I know they were releasing, was it a TTYD, The Thousand Year Door? I've always wanted to play this series. I don't know anything about it, really. I might have to check this out, you know? I know it's not the first game. I think what the original was on N64. Or was it GameCube? I don't even know, right? Mm. Yeah, but overall, none of these things look very interesting. That only has one image of a dead woman, I'm assuming. Okay, sure. That's a puzzle thing. See, what? Even Nintendo is not immune to this uh, sexy anime thing. I mean, come on. What is this? Why are there so many of these damn things all of a sudden? Quintuplets? I don't want. Let's not go there, shall we? Let's not go there. You guys understand what I'm saying, right? You go through all the coming soon stuff, most of it just appears to be shovelware. I'm not trying to be too, you know, judgmental. Maybe some of these things are good. I have no idea. What well, it's the secret salami? What? You play... Okay, is that like the precursor to a goose game or something? Or the advanced version? I don't know. Chocolate Factory? Yeah, that seems pretty archaic as well, these graphics. Jeez. Hmm. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot more unique things on the Switch, right? Not that I know how good or bad they might be. Yeah, there's that Claws and Feathers thing again. It's on all three platforms? Okay. Helicopter Battle Arena Simulator? Alright, sure. Another Tycoon game. And another one. Is this the new Kairosoft? <laughs> and uh, again, Anime Beauty Puzzle? Oh, jeez. What's the world come to? What have we come to as gamers, you know? Jeez. Airplane delivery? Yeah, very big. I, I guess the Switch guy. It's not going to have the super graphics. That's what it is. Oh, wow. Adventure bundle? I played that game. I even remember what it's called, by the way. The one with the girl. Yeah, this one. I don't even remember what it was called. It was so weird. I want to try to like it. Like, one of these over-the-top Undertale type of things, but it was just so weird. I couldn't understand it. Was it My Little Sister, right? Right? That's what it was called? I didn't understand anything that was happening in it. Even though the gameplay was serviceable, I was left shaking my fucking head, like, what did I just play? I didn't actually have the other game, this one with the girl with the red bow on it. I got that at PlayStation a while back. I'm kind of afraid to play it, because it's probably not going to be much better, is it? I can't imagine it being much better, but I don't know. It's always I can always try that. Well, and behold, more puzzle stuff. This doesn't look very interesting, you know? No, not to sound like an old timer, but back in the day, you go to the store, you had to get a physical game, you couldn't see all the shovelware all the time. Because we didn't have the internet. The first house I grew up in, we didn't have the internet. I don't think I got the internet until after my parents divorced, which was 93. And there was dial-up modem. Oh my god. Again, I don't want to bore you guys with this talk of the stuff of the past. Yeah, a lot of things that just don't look interesting. Is there anything coming out soon that's really worth hyping up? Oh, right. We just mentioned two. I heard they're making that it was a 3DS exclusive, right? The second game, now they bring it to the Switch. I played the first one as a launch title on GameCube. I could play it again, technically. I don't really remember that much about it. Never played the third one, though. That's something I do want to check out as well. The weird thing is, I didn't want to play the third one without playing the second one, but I couldn't play the second one because it was a 3DS exclusive, right? So, I might have to check this out then. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But like I said, most of the things that Nintendo fries with are their original IPs, not so much the third-party stuff. Hmm. 
Yeah, not much to say here. Oh, so why are we getting something from October of next year? What? What? I don't know, guys. This is coming out in February of next year. Jesus. Okay, we'll get new releases, maybe? Oh, recent. There we go. Excuse me. They really made a game called Hentai Golf? Mm. They're not even trying to hide it anymore, putting the hentai right there in the title, right? Jesus. <laughs> Unreal. Yeah, there's that Cynthia game again. Yeah, like, look at this stuff. Doesn't look... Looks like complete shovelware. Look at the prices of these things. Jesus. Why even bother hosting these games if people aren't going to buy them? It's like, waste. Huge waste. I don't know, maybe that's just me. There's the Fox game again. Ugh. It's like, everyone wants a slice of that pie. Put your game on all three chat um, platforms, see what happens. It would be very interesting if I could look up, like, how many copies this game sells on each platform, and then, like, how many are actually refunded. Yeah, I know in certain cases you can't refund them, but you get what I'm saying, right? Look at this thing, Zombie Night Defense. Yeah, look how cheap that looks, Jesus. Ugh. This whole video is turning to like me ranting. I didn't mean it to be like that, but damn, you, you know I'm not wrong here. Yeah, I was looking into Biomute, and I remember that came out a while back. I heard very mixed things about it, that's why I never got into it. I don't know. Maybe I could get it at a cheap price, I'll give it a shot. Because again, I keep stressing this, I don't want to just play old things. I want to play new things too. The problem was, and the whole point of me bringing up that why I'm not excited about AAA gaming. There's not much to really be excited for, right? There really isn't. And another hentai game. Look, is this rated AO or something? How could they put hentai in the title? I'm curious. I probably shouldn't be. Okay, can I get any from? Oh yeah, it's rated M, of course. What is this? Jesus Christ, guys, come on. It doesn't even say what you do in the game. Jesus. <laughs> Probably best I don't know that. Okay. Yeah, there are crabs treasure, whatever this thing is not. Jeez. Yeah, not much to be excited about. Really isn't. There's one reason I'm sort of leaning towards older things, though, because where's the quality control anymore? Seriously, where is the quality control? I asked myself that myself that day after day after day. Meanwhile, we're seeing all these studios close down. You know, the people who made Hi-Fi Rush, I, Playtonic, I forgot what they're called. They were shut down by Microsoft. Arcane, who did the Redfall game, which was widely hated, they were shut down. Jeez, why even buy these studios, Microsoft? Yeah, more anime girl things. Ugh. No, I swear, between this, and not to mention, like, movies and television putting out shovelware 24-7, how do you separate the wheat from the chaff, so to speak? It feels like a full-time job, right? No matter what you're into, like, even music, try to find a good song nowadays, or, like, television series. It's unreal, it really is unreal. I guess in some ways I can't show off Steam, because I did get a gaming mini laptop. I don't know. If, yeah, I mentioned that in my community post, by the way. I could show that real quick, too. No, Steam is sort of the Wild West for shovelware in general, but I guess I could do that next, right? Not really seeing anything else worth going over here. Fox White? Oh, jeez. So many anime girls, Jesus. I think there are more on Nintendo than there were on Sony, even. If I even... Wow. Okay. Okay. Anything else we're bringing up? No. Like, look at this stuff. It's just not... Again, like, is Nintendo like, trying to cater to the perv crowd all of a sudden? What the hell? What the hell? So many anime girls. Unreal. Alright, so I'm gonna stop here. I'll bring it up on Steam for a sec. And I'm gonna switch out a bit. Hang on. Hey everyone. So unfortunately, I didn't really test out my ability to record PC stuff yet. 
I could get it displayed on my television, but for some reason my cursor is not appearing, and it's just a blank desktop screen. These icons on the right aren't appearing, and when I brought up Steam, <clears throat> excuse me, it still wasn't appearing either when I opened it, because it was just still the blank screen with this symbol in the background. So I can't really use my webcam, because when I look at the webcam, it's angled out of the way. So it's what it's in the right position when I'm looking at the TV, right? So we're just gonna have to go over this last section without the webcam. Again, I'm sorry. But I'll try to figure out a way to fix this before I ever have to record something on PC, right? I'm not sure why the configuration is off. We'll have to worry about that later. So anyway, as far as my library goes on Steam, yeah, I don't have that many things. Right, I did Chrono Trigger a while back. I did the full run as best I could, aside from going over the endings, because it was a little too much to do, having to do all the endings and stuff. So, yeah, I had a good time with that. First time doing the special edition with the extra content. That was very good. Yeah, I got Black Mesa a while back. This is the fan remake of the first Half-Life. Yeah, the problem is with Half-Life, I've already played all of them. I played the first one. I played the Opposing Force spinoff. I did the Blue Shift sh um, spinoff by myself before I had the YouTube channel. I also played Half-Life 2 first on PC, then through the Orange Box, and the DLCs, Episode 1, 2. Where's 3, Valve? Where's 3? Valve can't count to 3 with anything, apparently. But yeah, we're probably never going to see Half-Life 3, I understand that. I mean, we'll probably get something else well before Half-Life 3, I don't even know what to consider. Maybe the next Bioshock, I'm still waiting on Cloud Chamber to announce something there, I don't know. So... And the reason I never played Black Mesa is because I didn't think my old laptop had the ability to run it. But now with my mini desktop computer, we'll have to see. Of course, I have to configure it to use with a controller and get the webcam working. But that's something to think about else, right? Yeah, this was actually the first uh, PC game I ever played on the channel. Problem was, back then, I didn't know about editing, so it was very archaic. The way it was set up, I had to open my recording software and then open the program because I didn't know how to configure anything. Not to mention, this game was very interesting, but all it consists of was reading dialogue, essentially, so it drove up my throat terribly. Oh, it really is tough to do that constantly. Not just the reading throughout the entire gameplay, but also adding in your commentary. That was an exhaustion on my throat, right? Yeah, because, yeah, I bought Blue Shift, Opposing Force, Half-Life. I did all these things before, never actually played them. Why I bought them, again, through Steam, I have no idea. I don't have an answer for any of that. I also apparently bought Skyrim ages ago. Hmm, whatever. So yeah, I did do Henry Stickman. Had a blast with that. Wow, so much fun. So much fun. Yeah, I might have to play this too. It's one of those point-and-click LucasArts games with Indiana Jones. I know about it from my friend growing up. He had it on his Mac, window, uh, no, Mac computer. So I always wanted to go back to that. I never actually saw the ending, and I barely remember the gameplay, right? Yeah, I did buy the Trails in the Sky series a while back. I think it's because someone wanted me to play them. I just never got around to it. That's something to look at later, of course. Problem is, with this series, I think they take a very long time. I did play Trails of Cold Steel 1 and 2. Had a very good time with that. But also, it was very time-consuming. Because the games in general were some of the longest series I've ever done. Not that it wasn't fun or anything. I had a blast playing them. But they are so time-consuming, right? Not to mention all the time off camera, I had to grind for that game, because that game can be pretty brutal with its difficulty. And there's no real way to cheese anything, essentially. You just gotta keep grinding, grinding, grinding. I had to grind for over 50 hours. I think in each game, it was nuts, right? <laughs> oh yeah, I saw this a while back, it's a free game. It was kind of interesting, like a point-and-click adventure sort of thing. I had to get to that at some point. Oh yeah, I got this too. I don't even know why I bought this. Again, you're going to be seeing that a lot in my things. And I bought this a while back as well. I think Jack Jacksepticeye played this. I never watched his series, but it looks kind of so stupid I just had to indulge in it, right? But I never actually played the game either. Apparently I played it in 2018? Motherfuck. That was six years ago, Jesus. Yeah, I did buy this too, by the way, because I was having problems trying to get the gold edition. And this had the stuff with it, as far as I could tell. But in the end, I did play it through 360 because I managed to get the gold stuff through that. Yeah, kind of an interesting game. You know, with the more stealth-oriented things, pick up your target, get the shot, don't get detected. 
we'll have to see about doing more of these things. Aside from the Ghost Warrior, I think there's the Sniper Elite series I might be interested in looking at. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I did play Rebel Assault 2 back in the day. I wanted to play Rebel Assault 1 first, but I couldn't get it to work properly with my joystick. You have to actually use a flight stick for this game, because it's so, it doesn't control well otherwise. From what I understand from the first game, though, um, yeah, it's like only takes an hour to beat the first one. Kind of weird. Also, it's not really uh, FMV style, but the cutscenes is more archaic. I don't know. Yeah, I meant to... I, why did I buy this? I have the N64 cartridge for this. I might as well play it on that if I want to replay this series. Yes, by the way, I have played all three Rogue Squadron games back in the day. I wouldn't mind playing them again just for nostalgia's sake. I'm a huge Star Wars nut after all. Right, I did do Jack Jorgen Cancer. That game destroyed me, by the way. Really destroyed me. It's on the channel already. I did buy the Stardew Valley because of the 1.6 update. It came to Steam before console. Wow, so enjoyable, so relaxing. I played this for 110 hours since I bought it on Steam. Holy tits. Yeah, it did help me get through my dark periods as I move. Very lasting game, although it's not something I could play for the channel. It's not something I could commentate over, right? Yeah, and then there's this there is no game thing, sort of like a trippy beta thing. I need to play that as well. So many games to play, not enough time, right? And there was the Witch's House Special Edition. I believe Markiplier played the original back when he had the baby face. So I'm sort of interested in checking this out. Not to really know anything about it, but we'll see, we'll see. Should take that long to play anyway. Alright, so let's take a look at the store, shall we? I mean, there's so many things on the Steam platform, it's nuts, right? Which another reason I never really played on Steam so much is because, well, I my laptop couldn't really handle the heavy grade stuff. So maybe with a mini desktop, we could do some more stuff here, right? So okay, so is there? I don't even know how to look at things here. Oh, new releases. Here we go. <clears throat> right, I heard Ghost of Shima is great. I will have to play that too at some point. <clears throat> okay, there's a kitty game again. Hmm. I'm just going to wrap up here real quick. More of the porn stuff. Why? Why? My shit. What the fuck is this, guys? Oh my god. Really? Sex in the fur. Um, I probably shouldn't show that on the screen. I'll probably get flagged for that. Jesus Christ. Why is this based on my standards? I don't play this stuff. This is popular new releases. Whatever. Whatever. Anything else I can look at? Yeah, I don't know what Manor of Lords is. That's real-time strategy, maybe? Hmm. Animal Well? Oh, that's the thing that um, the donkey guy made, I think. The content creator. Abiotic Factor? I don't know what that is. Hey, there's just too much stuff on Steam. Holy mother of God. There's so many things to play here. It really is nuts, right? I'm going to wrap up here real quick. I don't want this to drag on too long. Yeah, you always find a multitude of things to buy, and they're always on sale, so you pick them up, and then you never play them. Rinse and repeat, right? I think we've all fell down that rabbit hole. Hmm. Well, so that's pretty much all I gotta say at the moment. So, I am feeling somewhat better. It's been back and forth, back and forth. You know how that shit goes, right? I still wanna try and make stuff. I just can't... Obs I'm just trying to relax for the time being. And yes, I will get back to Gears of War 2 ASAP. I want to finish that first. Just some updates of what I plan on doing when I could feel up to it. So Gears of War 2 should only take two more videos based on my understanding of how far I am in the campaign. After that, I'm going to take a break from Gears. Not that I don't want to see the whole story unfold. I just don't want to spam out one franchise, you know? I don't feel the need to spam, uh, spam out one franchise, one series at once. It does get a little excessive, right? <clears throat> Because as, as far as I know, there's Gears 3, there's Gears 4, there's Gears 5, there's a Gears Judgment spinoff, right? Even though I heard mixed things about that as well, I will check it out at some point. And I do have to finish up Fear 3 at the moment. Problem is with that game, it's not as easy to record because it's on PS3. And I gotta do the whole HDCP with the splitter thing. That's kind of irritating, right? After that, I'm not sure what I'm going to do as far as my series goes. Because I still want to keep it two at a time, right? And I still have a lot of people... Asking me to do certain things. I haven't forgotten about that, guys. Don't worry. I take all requests into consideration, right? So 
I might get another request in. I'm not sure what it's going to be yet. I don't really want to speculate on something unless I'm totally sure. As for other things I might do, yeah, I've done some other things too. Like I went over the AAA gaming discussion. I went over some funny commercials that I liked back in the day. As for that huge scary movie project, I'm still trying to salvage that. The problem is, as I explained in my community posts, uh, yeah, I keep getting f picked up by the algorithm with regards to the scenes I'm using from Scream and Scary Movie. And even though I try disputing them, I pick the safer option that says, hey, you can dispute it. It'll take longer, but it's safer. I did that, and they gave me a strike. I don't even fucking believe that. It says right there, this is the safer option. You won't get a strike. And if your appeal is rejected, you can appeal again. I picked that to be on the safe side. Lo and behold, they gave me a strike, Miramax. So I, that's why I couldn't do anything for 90 days regarding that project. Maybe I could get away with it if I change the the screen ratio, you know? But at the moment, it's full 16 by 9. Maybe if I squeeze it, that would not have it get detected. I'm not sure. I know that would minimize the effect it has, but what else can I do? Every time I try editing one scene of that, that does not get detected, right? But then a different scene from the same movies gets detected instead. So, yeah, it's such a pain in the ass, too. I'm not showing the whole movie. I'm just showing the scenes in regards to the scenes that are spoofed, right? But apparently, it's still not good enough. I don't know. It is a shame, because I spent a huge amount of time working on it. Over 50 hours. I'm not shitting you guys. It's over about two hours in length, that video. It's over 50, I spent over 50 hours working on it, total. It's nuts. And it just really sucks that I wasn't able to show you guys any of it. Unless I could figure out a way to bypass the detection. We'll see, right? Another thing I might consider me going over some gaming news. Like some new developments, new studios, closures. I don't know. It's something to think about for the future. I still want to focus on Let's Plays, of course. But I do want to expand myself a little bit. Not become a huge variety channel or anything. That's not my intention at the moment. But just dabble with whatever I want to do, right? Just have fun with it, you know? Maybe make some funny meme videos, too. I know humor is in the eye of the beholder regarding what's funny and what's not funny. But I was looking at a bunch of viral videos, like people just making funny things, like mashing things together, mixing them up and stuff. They don't always have to be game your way, but I figured, hey, why not, you know? I can spend a few minutes making a funny thing, see if it's well-received or not. So, yeah. I did actually have one prepared regarding... Uh, Asper messing up the Battlefront Classic Collection. This is a little funny thing I created. It's only like eight seconds long. I probably will upload that after I'm done here. No, just to make have some humor, have some good laughs and stuff, right? So yeah, it's been a big, huge ordeal. You know, I'm still here at the apartment. I don't want to keep going on and on and on about my personal problems. Rest assured, guys, I'm just trying to relax for the time being. I haven't forgotten it. I still like making content. And now that I am able to edit stuff better, have better hardware, better skills, I want to put that to better, you know? I did include some of my editing stuff through the Super Mario RPG. I had some music, some funny frames. You know, I did edit it more properly because I'm able to do that now that I know how to edit, right? It's not anything super flashy, but at least I know something, right? And it's just a shame I couldn't do this back in the day. I could cut out a lot of mistakes, you know, boss fights, getting stuck on a boss fight for over an hour and stuff. But... No, you live and learn. No one comes out of the gate swinging when they start content creating, right? I sort of, I sort of drifted off here. The whole point of this video was to go over why I'm not really excited about what's coming out lately or what has come out. But yeah, let's call this a exploration sort of slash update thing, right? Okay. So I think I babbled on for too long here. I'm going to try and stop now. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll get back to you whenever I can with some new updates, some new content. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.